Hello everyone, this is Vani from RMK College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we are going to learn about the evolution of communication networks from 1G to 5G and beyond that. So, our main objective is to learn about the evolution from first generation to the second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation and beyond 5G. So, in the first generation, if we see the network were analog, while in case of 2G network, the entire network was digital. So, the 2G capabilities were achieved by allowing multiple users on a single channel via multiplexing. And also during 2G, the cellular phones were used for data along with voice. So, if we see some of the key features of um, 2G, the data speed was up to 64 kbps and digital signals were used instead of analog signals and also the services such as SMS and MMS multimedia messages were um, enabled and uh, the quality of voice calls were good bandwidth was uh, in the range of 30 to 200 kilohertz so that was the case with the second generation networks. Followed by third generation, uh, it utilizes UMTS, which is abbreviated as Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, as its core network. So, it combines the aspects of 2G network with new technologies and protocols to deliver a significantly faster data rate. So, the demand was to increase the data rate. So, by using packet switching, the original technology was improved up to 14 megabits uh, per second. So it uses wideband wireless network that increased clarity also and it operated in the range of 2100 megahertz with a bandwidth of 15 to 20 megahertz. So some of the main features were the speed was up to 2 Mbps, bandwidth and data rates were very high compared to 2G and large email messages were able to be sent and uh, the broadband capabilities and capacities were large. So, the IMTS were the specifications by the International Telecommunication Union for 3G network, uh, which, which was providing up to 21.6 Mbps. Followed by a fourth generation, where the main difference lies in the data rate. And also, there is a huge difference between 3G and 4G technology. So, the key technologies that have made 4G possible are uh, MIMO that is multiple input multiple output and orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. So the most important 4G standard was WiMAX and LTE. Why 4G uh, LTE is a major improvement over 3G speeds. So they are also referred as fourth generation long term evolution which was capable of delivering very fast and secure internet connection. So basically 4G is a predetermined standard for mobile network connect connections and some of the main features are it supports interactive multimedia voice video, high speed, high capacity and low cost per bit and it, it was providing global and scalable mobile networks and it was ad hoc and multi hop networks. So these are the key features of fourth generation networks. Fifth generation networks operate on rarely used radio millimeter bands which are in the range of 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. So, um, that using small cells and deployment of 5G with millimeter wave based carriers can improve overall coverage area and also uh, the techniques like beam forming, small cells etc were combined in order to reduce the latency and increase the coverage. So, as far as 5G is concerned, its main features is uh, uh, to have high data rate and uh, to have uh, minimum latency. So, practically speaking, the latency lies in the range of 1 to 10 seconds where the theoretical uh, data is given as in milliseconds. So, the fifth generation enhanced mobile broadband and IoT are developed from 2020 onwards where the 5G re represents paradigm shift providing faster speed, low latency and increased network capacity. And it also enables enhanced mobile broadband along with massive machine type communication and ultra reliable low latency communication. 
so for developing all the day to day applications like smart home smart city everything is possible with this iot and urlc combination uh, beyond 5g and 6g are anticipated as future developments uh, where they are used to describe the evolution of mobile services beyond the current 5g technology and the expectations also include faster data rates very low latency and the integration of emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and holographic communication along with 5g and 6g beyond connectivity very diverse services are provided by uh, 5g and beyond where not only mobile services the other applications like uh, mobile payments uh, then uh, location based services augmented reality virtual reality and much more are possible uh, apart from connectivity and also the network slicing and edge computing where the advanced concepts uh, are being explored to provide tailored connectivity solutions for different use cases and applications some of the regulatory changes and spectrum allocation to be taken care while implementing 5g and 5g beyond the evolution of mobile services is influenced by regulatory changes spectrum auctions policies that shape the de deployment of new technology and services the evolution of public mobile services continues to be shaped by technological advancements consumer demands and the integration of mobile communication into various aspects of daily life thank you